Hello dear students. I hope you are fine and keeping in good health. Today I am going to teach you Social Studies Chapter 3 Changes in the Transport System. Introduction The changes in the transport system helps us to move to different places on time and makes our work easier. We have learned about vehicles in our previous classes. Different places have different types of vehicles. We use vehicles such as cars, buses, trucks and motorbikes in towns and cities. In villages, people mostly use cycle, rickshaw and buller carts. So children, in our previous chapter we have learned about vehicles. I told you about Rihanna when she was going to a new house from airport to her place in Bandra. It, there was a traffic jam. All the vehicles standing on the road. So in this chapter we are going to learn about different types of vehicles. Like in the city and town we have different vehicles like car, bus, truck, motorbikes and in the village we have cycle, rickshaw and bullock carts. The invention of wheel. In ancient times, there were no vehicles and people generally used to walk from one place to another. They transported heavy and bulky goods themselves or through animals. The invention of wheel brought about an impact an important change in transport. So children, in ancient times, earlier, in the past, people had no vehicles. They used to walk to far distance. They used to carry, they transport their goods on animals or they used to carry it and move from one place to another. Then, the invention of wheel brought an important change in transport. Then when the invention of wheel was done, then it brought a different, uh, important change in transport. The story of wheel. The early humans who lived thousands of years ago used raft as sledges to carry heavy items. They used to pull these sledges along the ground. However, it was not easy to pull them on uneven surface. So the early humans who lived thousands of years ago, they used rafts. You know what is raft? Raft is a flat structure made of pieces of wood tied together. The early humans took pieces of wood, tied them together and used it as a boat. Sledges. A vehicle without wheels that is used for traveling on snow. So they used these rafts and sledges to carry heavy items. It was very difficult for them to pull them on uneven surface. The, the surface, the floor was not smooth. It was uneven. It was very difficult for them to pull things. But anyhow, they managed to pull them on uneven surface with difficulty. So it was very difficult for them to pull things on uneven surface.
Later, they noticed that round pieces of wood or log rolled easily on the ground. They added these logs to their sledge and found that the movement became much easier. Then later, they noticed that when wood or log, when it falls down, it rolls very easily on the ground. Then what they did, they added these log. So they cut the log into small pieces. Okay. And then they attached them to the sledge. So it became easy for them to take things in it. Then the early humans cut out thin round pieces from the logs and attached them to their sledges. This is believed to have led to the invention of wheel. So children, early humans started cutting thin round pieces from the log and attached them to their sledges and this led to the invention of wheel. Then now they started making wheels and using them. So children, please watch my explanation carefully. And there are exercises given below. Do them by yourself. Thank you and have a nice day.